Turning now to the coronavirus pandemic, COVID cases in the U.S. may have plateaued, but health leaders say a surge will likely happen this fall. And that's according to the nation's leading infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci. So for more on this, let's bring in our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Doc, it's about, what, five months till fall. So why are we getting this warning from Dr. Fauci now? Yeah, we're talking about it's just, you know, we had opening day just now, and I understand why people are saying, what the heck, it's, it's so long away, long away from now, and, and we're talking about a surge that may happen later this year. However, health experts like Dr. Fauci and, and myself don't want people to be caught off guard. That's the problem. Everyone needs to be aware and prepared when it comes to this very contagious virus. Now, when it comes to surges, the U.S., often follows other countries like the United Kingdom, for example. That country dropped pandemic restrictions and cases surged once again. Interestingly, though, this is good, the U.S. has not followed suit. Our numbers continue to drop, as Glenda just said, after the initial Omicron spike. And over the last couple of weeks, case numbers nationally have been generally flat. But the tide may be about to turn. Roughly half of all states and territories are now seeing an uptick, unfortunately, in new virus cases, especially when Omicron's subvariant BA2 is widespread. Now, we can hope that current immunity levels are high enough to really ward off new spikes. But by fall, immunity levels could be much lower. And then, you guessed it, when you combine the decreasing immunity with cold weather and more folks spending time out uh, indoors, rather, that opens the door for the virus to thrive. Well, the decreased immunity is the reason for boosters, right? But there's some confusion on when to get them and maybe even some strategy. So what do you recommend? Absolutely. So, Brian, first of all, the best protection is when you're up to date with COVID vaccinations. Right now, the CDC is recommending people age 12 and up get a booster shot five months after receiving the first two doses of Pfizer or Moderna's vaccine. We just talked about this right before the show or two months after getting the J&J vaccine. There's really good data that shows getting boosted can protect you from getting seriously ill, and that's the bottom line. Now, folks who are age 50 and up are allowed to get a second booster shot four months after their first booster. But I'm hearing the question, hey, Dr. Nenny, should I get it now or should I wait for many of my patients? And here's what I recommend. If you're over the age of 65 or you're immunocompromised, then you should get the second booster when you're eligible. For people who are 50 to 65, you need to consider your medical risk factors, right? If you have multiple medical conditions and are at risk of developing severe illness, absolutely, then you should get a second booster. If you're healthy and have the initial booster, then you can consider waiting. If you're not sure, I recommend you discuss the second booster with your family physician. So I think, it, you know, we've got some data that we need to look at. But again, in general, if you're 65 and over, get it now. If you're not and you're healthy, you take a look and say, you know, let me talk to my doctor and see if I need to do it now or a little later. Great advice, as always. Yeah. Grateful for your expertise. Happy Friday. Happy Friday to you. Good to see you, Doctor. Thank you. And don't forget to watch an all-new episode of the Dr. Nandy Show this weekend. This Saturday, 1 p.m., Dr. Nandy is showing us how we can supercharge our health. Glenda?